Ginger here, and welcome to Power Morphicon 4. The largest Power Rangers convention created for you, all of our wonderful Power Rangers fans. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're watching Uncensored Talk with Karen. did not want to be on camera today and I had to headlock them and make them get on camera. These are the, some of, I mean a very, very small percentage of some of the fans, some of the fandom who have been the reason that Power Rangers has lasted this long. I'm going to go around and we're all going to introduce ourselves and where you're from. So we'll start with you. Uh, hey guys, I'm Quentin. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. I love yeah. <laughs> and how about you, my, my darling down here? I'm Mark, and I'm from Chester in the United Kingdom. He came all the way from England, and he has to sit on the floor. Isn't that horrible? Yeah. Only on Uncensored Talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my name is Elias. I'm from New York City. Yay. I'm Molly, and I'm from Denmark. Denmark, wow. I'm James. I'm from Chester and the UK as well. I'm Melanie, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Susan, and I'm currently living in Nashville, but from South Carolina. Nice. Uh, I'm Corey from Paris, California. William from Los Angeles, California. Hey. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I want really quickly, really, really quickly, I want Lisa J to run out here and say <laughs> her name and say, hi, I'm Lisa J from the Bronx. Come on, Lisa. What up? <laughs> she never wants to be on camera, but you probably know her voice from No Pink Spandex. The reason I'm doing this show today is because it's all about the fans. It's all about you. We're actually here in California, about to go to Power Morphicon in the next day or so. And I was like, if I'm going to shoot, you know, shows and do uncensored radio, why wouldn't I shoot a show about the convention? And why wouldn't I shoot the show behind the people who represent the fandom? Like, you guys are... The backbone. I, I honestly say that sincerely, and if you've never been thanked, thank you all for loving the show. I need to know when was the first? What age were you when you started watching? I was. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> probably <laughs> six when I think Lightspeed or Time Force was on, but originals are still my favorite. Oh, OG! Funny <laughs> more fun or nothing. Uh, <laughs> I, I was nineteen, and then my first. I just completed my first full year in the Navy when MMPR debuted, so I started at the beginning. Wow. Yep. I was a 20-something, and I watched it with my little girl, Yay. who was four at Yay. the time. That's great. Awesome. Yeah. How about you guys back here? What, what was your... I was 14 years old, and uh, when Mighty Morphin, the first episode mm -hmm. premiered, and uh, we ordered Domino's Pizza. Yay. And we were waiting for that pizza to arrive, right? <laughs> and we were watching the episode, and it was almost over. It was about to be a Megazord fight scene, and the pizza arrived. So I got to miss it. I missed out on that Megazord oh. fight scene. I clearly remember that. But I, I know you've watched it like a hundred thousand yeah. times Once since I got then. it on VHS, I bought it. And I bought <laughs> there it. you so go. Over and over again. Yeah, the 90s. That was so I know, and your parents, I'm sure, all loved us because you watched it a thousand trillion times. You guys were in the UK, so I mean... In Denmark. Well, it's banned in it's kind of name where I live. What? Yeah. We were banned. You were banned. Um, Too violent. No, a kid killed his sister and blamed it on Power Rangers. Oh wow. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> moment of so, silence. Um, wow. Yeah. Gosh. So uh, internet is how I got to. Know really? It. Yeah. Thank God for the internet. It yeah. happened around the same time. <laughs> really, we kind of all we all it all yeah. kind of took off at the same time. How about you? Oh, I was four years old. I was like in kindergarten. Wow. Came out. So you were the demographic. Your daughter. They were yeah. like the demographic that we were shooting for. Little did we know that twenty years later we'd all be sitting here talking about Power Rangers still. Like honestly, I remember when they first told me. Steve called me, or he may have get this. He MySpaced me. And told oh, me, oh. yeah, he MySpaced me, found me. I was in Texas, 
And or I was in LA and I was going to Texas. Somehow I was in both places. And he goes, hey, you should come. We're doing this convention, me, Jason Frank, and you should come with us. And I was like, why? Like, I literally was like, why? I was like, what are we going to do there? And he goes, no, you got to come meet the Power Rangers. I mean, you got to come meet the fans. Like, they want to see you and they want to meet mm -hmm. the Power Rangers. And I'm like, Steve, really? And he goes, no, I swear. Mm -hmm. I swear. I just did this convention called Power Morphicon. First time, he was like, it blew me away, Karen. Like, just the tone in his voice changed, and he was like, it blew me away. you got to come to this convention. you got to see this. You'll never believe it. Mm -hmm. And I went. We went to Chicago, and literally there were six-hour wait to get our autograph. Wow. And I was like, I was just like floored. Because <laughs> I honestly thought no one even knows who I am. Like, if they do, you know, I mean, I've done other shows. I've done other things, but there's no possible way. So tell me, I mean, there's something that, tell me what it was about the show that got you. Because, I mean, obviously, I was an actor. I was, in a, you know, I was, I was telling Steve I just turned 18. Like, I wasn't trying to do anything like that. I had no clue. We had no clue what we were doing. Yeah. What was it about the show that caught you? Well, with me, I mean, I watched it with my daughter, like I said. Um, but the way I got back into it was meeting um you know a couple of the actors at conventions yeah. and just kind of became friends with them and um you know just started working conventions so that's how i kind of got into the show myself yeah yeah how about you guys back here because you were well yeah you were i was a big, big fan as a kid my first big series that i loved was voltron and i love robots at the right time. right and power rangers well keep, keeping in mind that we never watched the japanese you know, the counterpart. Yeah. So when I watched the robots and superheroes and spandex fighting, martial mm -hmm. arts is another big you component, know, part, you know, component yeah. of mm -hmm. the show. And, you know, I just, I just loved it when I first watched it. Well, not until the Green with Evil series. Oh, that's when, I really that's when it me, changed, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what really got me hooked into the series. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't really too big on it because it was a real live fighting series. I wasn't into that right. as a kid. More imagination. I was more into the yeah. animated, you know. Yeah. But now it's, yeah, it's, that's what the got fighting me got the real robots. cool, right? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> the yeah, fighting got really cool. How about you? You were four years old. Like, um, what got you? I mean, you were that kid that was, like, stuck in front of the TV. Yeah, Power Rangers life. You went to school, you came home, you watched Power Rangers. You woke up Saturday mornings, you watched Power Rangers. You went to Blockbuster, went to the VHS, and watched Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was all yeah. about Power Rangers, right? Were you, were any of you Power Rangers for Halloween? When you were a kid? I was. Yeah. Were I you? was definitely. Were you? I was a White Ranger once for Halloween. Oh, <laughs> I love it. My daughter I was. Love it. My daughter was. Your daughter and, was? And, yeah, she was like five. She's going to kill me for the White I will the say this. <laughs> I, bu I bought my nephew um, the, the Blue Ranger costume. I was on the show, and he was a blue little Blue Ranger, and I took Aww. him trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That was the only one that was left. It wasn't so much. Mm -hmm. I, I told David, like, David was like, oh, you love me. And I was like, no, one that I love you. <laughs> that was the only one that was left, because I went to five stores just to find that one, one costume. costume. And I finally, I think I called someone, and I ended up finding finding it. But I had to call someone from the show and say, "Can you help me find a costume for my?" Because there was like no costumes, there were like no toys, there was nothing. Like you know, I, I if I would have you know thought about it, I would have bought all that stuff and saved it. Because <laughs> yeah. now it's collectibles. Oh yeah. Absolutely. You guys have quite the collection I've seen on on the internet. All of you, toys, autographs. So now that it's it's kind of come full circle. Now mm -hmm. you guys are very close friends. With a lot of the rangers like the funny thing is when you guys all walked in the room i recognized everyone <laughs> everyone like i'd seen you on facebook or on instagram something somehow and you all know each other how i mean did you all meet online mm -hmm. um, no, yeah. myspace <laughs> MySpace, Facebook. Here at power morphicon, power morphicon. In 2010 yeah. is where i met these two um working the line for Jason David Frank. Right. Yeah. So and that's where I met these guys. And we and met then, him, Quentin, in Lexington. Yeah. When we were working for I Jason Vaughn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, was it Power for First Power Morphicon is where I met Will, and we became like good friends over there. So, so. now yeah. you like, mm -hmm. this is what's crazy to me. You got, mm -hmm. first you love the show, then you meet friends online, then you go to the conventions and you really become friends, and now like your close friends are people that, and it's all intertwined. Mm -hmm. It's still a part of your life. That's so amazing. Stay tuned for more Uncensored Talk. Let's get talking.
Hey, how you doing? I'm Sean Johnson, and I played Carter Grayson on Power Rangers Light Speed Rescue. Power Rangers, uh, in no small way, absolutely changed my life. Uh, it's awesome to be able to work with such a great cast, and the experience as a whole was just uh, one of those more memorable moments of my life. Uh, the fans, in particular, have just been awesome, especially here at Power Morphin Con. It's been great to be able to interact with them, and uh, as I'm sure you'll hear from a lot of folks, uh, the work we got to do with Make Wish Foundation was uh, one of the most magical and impressionable moments of my life. So, uh, much love to all of you, and uh, see you next time. What's up, Ranger Nation? Steve Cardenas here. I'm at my uh, studio, Force Balance Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I just wanted to say thank you to all the fans, all the Ranger fans out there. Ever since 2007, when I went to the first Power Morphicon, and I really saw how big the fan base was, it blew me away, and I've just really embraced you guys since then. So I thank you so much for that, and uh, I'll, hopefully I'll see you in a city near you soon. Okay, guys? Morphin time. Well, we met on the show, so if it weren't for Power Rangers... We would have never met. Yeah, I mean, Power Rangers obviously is one of the biggest um, television series in world history. And just to have the opportunity to be a part of it, it's been an honor. Um, you know, you're part of this Power Ranger family really for life. So, so even though it was a lot of years ago that we did the show, it's still fun to come together with the fans at these events and get to see fans that come to every Morphicon, every event, and the new ones every time, and also to reunite with our castmates and our other Power Ranger uh, season family from different franchises. A shout out to my wonderful fans. You guys have been amazing throughout the years supporting me from Power Rangers to my current career and I just want to thank you and just know that I have so much love for you guys and whenever you come to conventions and you come see me and, and tell me what Power Rangers meant to you I just love giving you a hug and just I just want to want you to know how much I truly appreciate you so thank you so much so very much. Hi, I just want to thank all of our fans out there. Um, you have been such a blessing to us in so many ways, and it's been really fun to reconnect with everybody at these conventions. And um, it's hard to believe 20 years later we're still, um, the show's still going. So thank you for everything and all the support. Yeah. Uh, hi, Chris Violette, SPD Blue yeah. Ranger. Uh, with Miss. Alicia Grant, SPD Pink Ranger. So, yeah, I guess, you know, the feeling uh, about how Power Rangers changed my life ever since doing the show. I think um, we kind of talked about how, you know, we, we touched basically on the blue panel. I mean, we had a question. And, uh, you know, it's, like a, it's almost like a, there's a bond, a family, that, uh, all the series, all the shows, every year, that, you know, no matter where you are in the world, if you see someone that has done or been part of this franchise, it's, it's like a family or, or like a, you know, like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a family. It's been something I've taken from the show since doing it. But I don't know. Yeah, I feel it's an experience that keeps on giving, and to be a part of the franchise and to yeah. be asked over and over again to do conventions and interviews is pretty amazing. I mean, most parts actors get, you know, the hype lasts yeah. for a year or two, and then it kind of fizzles out. So it's amazing. And for some people, it's not like it's not even just like I have one guy tell me that watching the show helped change his life, like Aww. you know, made better choices and moved, you know, moved forward in a better direction. So I mean, it was, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's great to meet everyone. And people have the same enthusiasm today as they did back in 2005. So. Just 
interesting is that they just keep coming back. Like when I was watching all this stuff as a kid, I was thinking like, oh, this is fun for now. Because you got to imagine for for every one of these shows, there's ten other cartoons right. that you never hear about. Never. Anymore. You know, so to have Power Rangers still happening after all these years, to have New Girls still happening after all these years, they keep coming back. New generations are enjoying them. It's just great because now you got you got people who grew up on it. You got new fans. It's kind of this whole like collection of just different types of people who can enjoy the same thing. And that's so cool, especially now with like you know you got Comic Cons and stuff. Right. Everything. Everything. It's nice to come to here and be like, all right, these are all the diehard Power Rangers fans, all of them under one roof, just enjoying themselves. And we got we got a little mix of stuff too. Yeah. There's a turtle van in the back. I know. know. on YouTube so you can watch the show and then at Black Nerd on Twitter and Instagram. So please support <laughs> him. It's amazing. I love you. I love you. Karen is like one of the best people. Like just so down to earth and so cool. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Ah see that's why I keep him around. <laughs> he makes me feel so good. She does. She keeps me in her basement. She will not let me leave. <laughs> posted or if somebody's negative or something like she you know tweeted me a million times and go there's somebody talking crazy on your page and I'm like I, I never watched my page so I'm like really what do they say like two days later I block them or whatever but it's like if the fandom is very important to so many why is it so important well the, the fandom is what keeps the whole thing alive yeah I mean the show, I don't think, would still be around or still exist if they're still wanting fans. And it's the older fans that are introducing their children. Yes. And so we're bringing, they're bringing new generations in, and they're starting off with their originals. Yeah. So, yes. and then they're introducing them to their favorite series. So then, you know, each series is being built upon. And if there's nobody out there speaking up for the fandom, and then... The fandom, the fandom has a lot of unique personalities in it. Absolutely. And those unique personalities sometimes need people to speak up for them because they get ridiculed for certain things like that. And if you're going to ridicule one for doing something that they love, then why are you right. a fan? Because if they're representing the, what they love and they're a part of the fandom, shouldn't you embrace that? Right. Hmm. I right. mean, it's the difference between going after somebody or trying to get somebody to see what's right and what's wrong versus right. ridiculing somebody for expressing what they love about the show. Right, right. I've heard so many people say, like, the show changed my life, you know? And I'm like, really? And, it, it, and of course, it, it was so much bigger than we ever, ever could have imagined. So what, were, what was something that you remember that you were like, wow, and you can honestly say that stuck with me? The PSAs, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. But no. the, the PSAs that were you know, at the end or in the middle of every episode. Uh, I remember the specific one with uh, J uh, Jason, Austin St. John's character. Yeah. And the one where he would just uh, talk about you know, keeping his cool when this bully was trying to get on him. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, he was trying to pick a fight with him, and he was just keeping a level head and make sure. And the quote is like, you know, you just witnessed the highest form of martial arts, making a friend out of an enemy. And that wow. that quote just stuck with me forever, and it's become a part of my life. So wow. I, I can honestly say that that little tidbit of Power Rangers changed my life. It's so funny because we always get someone at our table, or we get fan mail, or we get somebody, and they say, I was bullied. And it almost was like, for me, I think Power Rangers, what I found is that it empowered kids. Not to say that you'd go and you'd learn karate and kick somebody's butt, but it empowered you to do, to make friends with other people that weren't like you. It empowered you to be happy with who you were as a person. It empowered you to find your confidence. You, you said something that you, yeah. there was something that stuck with you. Um, what, what he was saying about the PSA, um, 
my childhood friend, my best friend at the time. Yeah. We became friends pretty much after that air, that PSA air. Wow. I was. Were you at odds? Yeah, because I, I showed up at school. I was like, yeah, I'm like this. I, I was 10 years old. I was like hard on Power Rangers. And I, was, <laughs> I, I couldn't handle it. I were you know. like kicking people? You, no, were you no, one of those? I wasn't, okay. I wasn't like that, but I was just. You knew, oh, oh, that's the Power Ranger kid right there. Right, no, you like came with your spandex <laughs> shirt. <laughs> your, your costume was underneath your regular clothes. Something like that. <laughs> I, I was at school playing with my crayons, color-coded crayons, pretending they were Power Rangers or something. <laughs> I used to make uh, morphers out of cardboard for all of my friends. Wow. And, and they had like black duct tape on the back and, I, you know, pogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pogs I know what pogs are. Coins, and, you know, I would put it in there and we'll play Power Rangers on the... Wow, see when I, I, we used to play wrestling and you guys play Power Rangers. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so dare I ask, because it was funny, we kept saying like with the fans, sometimes they want to, like Nakia said something funny, she, they, she said someone would come up to her and go, you know, you're like my third favorite Ranger. And I was like, and like people will do that. Like we don't yeah. ask you to pick a favorite, but obviously everyone gravitated towards someone. Dare I ask who your favorite Ranger was back in the day? From Mighty Morphin. From any, anything. No, any season. Because, I mean, there's always somebody. I always feel like there's somebody. It could have been maybe a couple of people, but there's always somebody that you identified with. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be the first one. Oh, sorry. I'll be the first <laughs> one to put it out there. Mr. Austin St. John, honestly, the original Red Ranger. The original and Red. He was always such a commanding presence, such a commanding voice. He was a good leader. Series. Exactly. He was a very good so leader. So I always identified with him, and to be fair, when uh, JDF's character, Tommy, came in, I was just kind of like, Who's this guy? Why? What? Why is he trying to take the <laughs> That's what they did. But that's what they did when I came in, and they were like, "Who's this girl? Who's in this in the yellow suit?" Like I got the same thing. So it, I, I would imagine a four-year-old would be like, "Okay, well, they don't understand that, you know, contract disputes or whatever. They don't. They didn't get that. They were like, "Why are you in Trini's boots?" Which I really was wearing her her boots. Like I, I had her costume and it said Trini on the inside. The, so. the biggest shock of my uh, childhood. <laughs> they just had to cut the legs. The biggest shock of my childhood was when they said the new leader of the power team for Tommy. And I'm like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Wait, what? What is going on? Right, yeah. right. Okay, so you were gonna say what was one of the? What was your your favorite person? I've got a few, but I think. Please name them all. Well, Billy was sort of my first. Sort yeah. Of, Guy, because he's tech savvy, he was geeky, he didn't really know how to get on. He with made people. geek chic before we knew that geek <laughs> exactly. was supposed to be chic. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and eventually, Andrews came along from in space. Nice. Christopher came to lead, and yeah. um, he really stuck with me because he was a bit of a loner, and I was as well. So. Yeah, see, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Mr. Quiet down here? Oh, it's um, <laughs> I want to hear that accent. Well, of course. My favorite one was until. Uh, Zia, when um, Jason became, or Austin became gold, and nice. that's, that was my all-time favorite range out of yeah. all of them, um, and now it's now become RJ, who plays the, I don't know his name, but he played um, Wolf Purple Ranger. Wolf Ranger, so since then, those are like my, my We've had ones. so many rangers and so many colors, like, I, um, mm -hmm. I, I feel, like, bad, because, but there's, like, a hundred of us, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, you know the people you work with, and then I know the people who were like after. But it's like, oh my gosh, there's been so many yeah. Rangers. Did you have a favorite Mr. Four Year Old yeah. watching? Um, <laughs> David Yost. David, David Yost. 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 And yeah. coincidentally, he was the first Ranger I met. Really, yeah. really. So, what was that like when you first when you first met a Ranger? Well, this is your first. This is your first con. Is this your first time in the states? Yes. This is for you came all the way from where? Uh, Chester with Mark. And, and, and obviously that's not a cheap, that's not a cheap trip. Nope, nope. And so you made a conscious decision and were like, I I'm going to save my money and I'm going to Power Morph well, Con. save my money and make myself a bit bankrupt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh. So what made you say, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to this? Um, I mean, I'm, I mean, I was go. Come on. That's yeah, come on. pressure that's all around you. <laughs> I mean, I was a bit more of a casual fan, but pretty much one I've met Mark, which was about ten years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. When I first met you, you were a die-out fan and you kind of sort of slowly in reintroduced me to it. Made you come out of the closet with that. <laughs> <laughs> no closet fans over here. <laughs> we're all family here. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark said he was coming this year and I'd made it like a New Year's resolution to start coming to more conventions. I thought, well, why not? I'll come to Power Morph. I can't 
If so you're going to oh, come to one, this is the one to come to. Like, one. Yeah. Literally, because it's like a thousand guests. Like, there's <laughs> a, 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 yeah, all like seasons it. are being represented by someone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, all the, in the run up to coming about Mark and Ollie both saying, oh, they, this, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And when finally they checked the list, it's like, yeah, pretty much nearly everybody is going to be here. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the thing. This is what blows my mind is that not only are you, did you used to watch back in the day? Not only have you been diehard fans, not only do you patrol the, the social media world and like, you know, no, seriously, but I appreciate that because there are times I feel like social media is amazing because we all get to meet mm -hmm. each other and we all get to stay in touch. But it's also a breeding ground for people to, mm -hmm. to kind of be cowards and, and say things they wouldn't say to your face, but they'll say it online. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that you guys keep it clean, you know, and you make sure everybody stays on their P's and Q's. But... You mentioned you worked the line for, you know, work, you worked for JDF at one time. You work for Austin now. Yep. Will has worked in production. Will and Corey worked for me doing Uncensored Talk. Like, mm -hmm. all of you, it's still a part of your lives in some way or some form. How, how did that come about? I mean. Um, I don't know. I started going to the conventions and you started seeing them again. And then all of a sudden, they're like, all right, here, you do this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah. work. Yeah. Eli, then, hold it, carry my bag. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I've, so I've worked for JDF, David Yost, you, Steven Schuyler, Walter, Austin. Um, Steve Cardenas. Steve Cardenas. I went him to Puerto Rico. I was his translator. Wow. <laughs> See? That's great. Wow. And I mean, this is the thing. Like, you, I, I met you, the first time I met you, Will, you called me or Facebooked me and said, I'm doing a promo for oh, Power Morphicon. And were, were you, you weren't even working for Power Morphicon at the time. You were just doing promos as a fan. Yes. And then now you work for Power Morphicon and right. do their videography. So every time you get on YouTube and you see these panels and, you know, you see all this amazing footage, it's because these guys, like, they go to the conventions, but they're working the whole time. Yep. Like, I'll see them if I go to the panel, but I won't really. So how did you go, I want to do, a, I wanna do a, a promo for a convention I love? Like... That's true fandom. Well, at the time, uh, we were, the Power Morphicon staff were looking for promos. They were doing a contest, a giveaway prize for whoever does the most creative promos out there. So I figured, like, why, why don't I contact the actors? That was my idea. And we actually were like, okay. Yeah, because we were like, uh, <laughs> I'll meet you at a park and I don't even know <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, prior to that, prior to contacting you, Karen, mm -hmm. I've seen other fans work. They were being very creative, you know, coming up with creative content and, yeah. and special effects. But I have no skills in that. I have no skills in special effects. Right. But I wanted to try it out, you know, see what the actors might say. So I gave it a shot, you know, let's see yeah, if I can shoot a message and see if she responds. So I gave it a shot. Hi, Karen, how are you? And I didn't want to look very awkward, you know, social <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I, I you did it. it. You did very it. I obviously up. showed up. Yeah. It took me some time to come up with a creative, like, very professional way of asking. You know, you got to show respect, show your professionalism, and uh, I did the best of my ability to see if she can actually respond back. If she doesn't, mm -hmm. she doesn't. You know, move on. You ended yeah. up shooting with everyone. Like, we did a promo, and then all of a sudden, there was like 10 more promos. Did I, did I help you open that door for the other ones to do it? Yes. See, I'm trusting. I would use that promo. <laughs> Don't call me now because I won't show up. <laughs> now, now, I'm, uh, now I realize what I did. But no, you were really sweet. You yeah. were very professional. Because once you step in that door and you get that video produced, yeah. you have a sample. Yeah. Once you have the sample, all is going to be good. That's how it yeah. is for, like, even for me. Like, people were like, oh, you know, you, you should do this. Or they'll send me their demos. And, they're, and I'm like... I'm beating the pavement right along with you, mm -hmm. you know, and we're trying to get our stuff sold and luckily for, for me, the web has been my friend, like, yeah. I'm doing a web series, like, I'll produce it myself, I'll put it out there myself, and you guys promote it, you guys tell your friends to watch it, so. Yeah, because you're going to have that approach, if you don't get it done, it's never going to happen, you want to make it happen, do something about it, if you don't do something about it, it's not going to happen, you're just going to be there. Set, just, set yeah. like a power ranger. Yeah, nothing but, it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is the PSA. Yes. That's the yeah. talk version. <laughs> and the thing is, like, since we're fans, like, this is what we love to do. So it's not really work. It's just we're just doing what we love to do. It's something you guys really genuine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You guys do have a smile on your face. Like, it's yeah. some long <laughs> days, and it so does. it's yeah. it's a lot of work, and it's a lot of you know. So there there has to be a love there. And the thing is, is it doesn't start or stop 
when the convention starts or stops. I mean, oh. you know, for like her and I, you know, it starts a couple hours before the convention even starts. And then when the end of the night comes, I mean, we still have pictures we have to download, video we have to download, and Tweeting everything else. and Facebooking yeah, and tagging. And, exactly. And it all starts oh, again yeah. for the next day and making sure that, you know, our photo editor gets the photos. And on average, I'm taking... I think at Miami, I took almost 1,400 pictures by myself, and then we had an additional 200 of B-roll. Right. And that's not counting video. That's just still shots. Mm -hmm. Right. And it starts way before the convention. We have been right. promoting and emailing and ordering merch and everything for the last month. Yeah. So, you know, it, it doesn't Yeah, because you guys work for Austin, so it's like mm -hmm. literally when he decided to come back, Yep. and start doing conventions, mm -hmm. you decided, I mean, you, he had no social media. None. <laughs> he had none. none. <laughs> he no, didn't we, have a Facebook. He didn't have an Instagram. If he no did, merch. it was personal, so it we wasn't. We had a, um, a fan page yeah. that um, I, oddly enough, became part of about four months, I guess, before he decided to come back. And because I just wanted to help him out. You know, I've always liked his character. I'd never yeah. gotten to meet him, but I always liked, you know, the way he carried himself and all that. And I was um, still doing some work for Dan Southworth at the time, and also for Jason Font a little bit here and there. And so we um, were trying to make the fan page as good as it could be. And I told them, you know, the main thing is, is you can't pretend to be him. Right. It's a fan page. Which right. is smart. So, yes. Very smart. I yes. love when it's like admin or, exactly. you know, in your name. And it's exactly. like you're not pretending because it, right. it gets crazy. You mm -hmm. know, so he, they want to know that they're really talking to us. Exactly. I, said, I don't want to pretend exactly. like I, you know, have my friends pretending to be me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he contacted when he got back in, in, into the country. Well, actually, before he got back in the country, right. um, he contacted us and said that he wanted to make that his official fan page. And so it started with that, and then after that, you know, he, we built that. How up. many people are you up to? Twitter and Instagram, ninety-five thousand. Ninety-five thousand and. Yeah, yep. that was a lot of man. Yeah, it, it, dump, yeah. it almost from the day we announced that it was the had become the official fan page. It doubled. It doubled almost overnight. Yes. Wow. You know, and then Twitter is up over ten thousand now. His wow. YouTube channel has almost four thousand subscribers. Wow. And those are still in their infancy, though. I'm right. So that that doesn't sound like a lot of numbers compared to you know. Right. Folks but out there. Facebook but, is kind of where but, all the hub is. Yeah, exactly. that's kind of the, yeah. Everything else kind of goes out from there. Yeah. And on behalf of like everybody that's a fan of Austin St. John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much Thank you. for all your efforts. Awesome. We're, oh, we're always. I'm on my phone. And I'm at my other job on right. my phone doing stuff for Austin, right. taking calls. And same stuff, thing. You know, same yeah. thing as you know. And every every time I and right because you've got real lives. Yes, yes. you've got real jobs. jobs. Everybody yes. has real jobs. Yes. And, and what do you do? What do you mind, or you can I just work, say? I work for Best Buy. I work okay. in uh, merchandising and inventory. Nice. And I've been there for and, a long time. And uh, I'm a registered medical assistant, so I mean, I put in 40, 45 hour days. Mm -hmm. Well, what about you guys? I know you guys work. I work you... as, a medical, as a medical biller in the fiscal department in a clinic, not for profit. So this is the thing. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, Power Ranger fans mm -hmm. aren't just like some. You know, <laughs> people in cosplay. You know, or like running around. They do cosplay. A lot of these people. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. But you guys are professionals. What do you guys do in the UK and over there on the, on the other side of the pond? <laughs> on the other side of the pond. I'm trying to get my accent. We're going to work on this. But we'll spend the weekend we'll together. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll talk yeah. By the time I leave, you'll do the British yeah. uncle. Do the British uncle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's an inside joke. If you were on the set, you know what the British uncle is. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> All your uncles. Ha, 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 ha. He's, the, he's the official British uncle. What do you do yes. for... Um, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm also a video editor. So I've been doing it since university. Um, wanted to get into visual effects, but then decided to go down the editing route. And it's worked really well. Um, nice. This is, a great, this is a great thing to be into, because you're a monks like mine, you know? Yeah. People are really into it. How about you guys? I work in the steel industry as a machine setter and machine packer. And nice. Steel bar packer. So it's nice. The See, they always job, think that Power Ranger fans are geeks, or that we're like, like <laughs> they're like my friends. I'll tell them. I'm like, they're like, People really go and like want your autograph. Like I'm like, <laughs> I'm not making this up, people. And they're like, well, they, they assume that like the, the fans have to be like weird or Special. something. Right, something's wrong with them. I'm like, no, these are professional people. Like yeah. they have professional lives and do professional things. I uh, I do several different things, but I have a little prop shop 
where I paint nice. Oh, see, so you're real popular at this. You need a booth. You are, I got, I got the hookup. Yeah, so Scott, I mean, I got, there you go. I got, I got, I, get, I got the in on Scott. it. I can get you a booth. You come sit at my table. <laughs> I, I, I make, sorry, I make deliveries part time, and I'm a substitute teacher. See? Oh my gosh. So yeah, you are all so accomplished. I didn't ask you, sir. I'm a man or I'm an assistant manager at a movie theater, and I'm in school. Nice. So all that's the thing. All professional. How many of you cosplay? When given the chance. Unfortunately, How many I of would. you have cosplay? <laughs> I've cosplay. I was a yellow raider. You're watching Uncensored Talk. Stay tuned. Uh, hi, I'm Alan Hartman. Uh, Hartman spelled like Hartman Chest. H-E-A-R-T-M-A-N. Power Rangers has affected my life in a many a fine way. Um, first and foremost, I'm here meeting all these fine fans. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's, I came to Los Angeles to be an actor, so to get something like Power Rangers, A, it fulfills my childhood dream, because obviously I was a fan of Mighty Morphin, because who wasn't? Um, and also, I mean, as a career, uh, Power Rangers is a great stepping stone because of, A, the fans that you get that are already there, they're super loyal, uh, and B, action adventure is kind of what I want to do, so... For me to start with Rangers is a really good stepping stone and learning block uh, to make sure that I can do what I have always believed in myself to be able to do. And so I kind of proved to myself that I can do it. And I did. And I'm here. Woo! Hey, hey, what's happening? It's Keith Robinson. We're live and direct at Power Walk Con, <laughs> Pasadena, California. Joel Rowling, the Sky Cowboy. The question is, how has Power Ranger fans affected my life? Well, they actually have started my career. This is my first job in the entertainment industry. Uh, getting a chance to play a superhero. So, the love from the fans kind of started my whole career. So, the, the fans are mucho, mammoth, import, importante to me. And you guys should be down here today. Yes. What up guys, what's going on? My name is Philip Jamari, aka Max Cooper, uh, the blue surgeon shark. Um, being a ranger is amazing. Uh, it's definitely changed my life for the better and the good. I mean, that's many people say they're a superhero, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just thankful and very grateful for that and for the opportunity. And uh, we'll definitely come out for more comments. It's always like the response is always a little bit cheer. It's not just love, it's a little bit. I love all you guys. Uh, real thing 
Hi, my name is Kevin Duhaney, and uh, the way Power Rangers affected my life is it pretty much took over my life as a kid. That's the best way to put it. I was really into it, so the fact that I had the chance to be in the show, I jumped on it. It was one of the greatest moments in my career so far. forbidden question. The forbidden question is, if you could put together your perfect Power Ranger team. Oh, wow. And it can, you got all the seasons mm. to choose from. Mm. Don't feel like you got to put me in, but it would be nice. It's a long way show. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but if you could pick the, the your top five. Uh, you I, don't, could, I couldn't do top five. Well, I would have to go top six. Okay, go. We'll give you six okay. members because there are right. six on my show. My top six, I would have to have Jason as original leader, but I think I would make him gold because he just was more powerful as that. Okay. Um, so Jason me meaning Austin. Saint Austin John. Saint John. Okay. Yes, you have to be um, Jason specific. Jason's okay. Sorry. character. Sorry. Yeah, I know it gets confusing because we got like a thousand Jasons. <laughs> yeah. We got Jason Paul, um, Jason Frame, Jason. <laughs> Jason John Harvey. Yeah. Jason Harvey. Um, John Young Bosch. Okay. Um, as Adam, just because, and I, I would choose him as he was a good one. fighter. Yes. He was, yes. and he's sneaky. sneaky. <laughs> if you watch some of his YouTube stuff, yeah. he's he's really good. Um, really good. Dan Southworth as a Quantum Ranger, just he's because hilarious. he's just a, he's a you need him. He's a butt he, kicker. You know that he was there when we auditioned for our parts, yeah. like, mm -hmm. he, and he literally yeah. was like the nicest, sweetest person. Because they, this, you know, Power Rangers, they've never been tactful. <laughs> they, <laughs> oh, yes. They basically said, "Okay, you're gonna audition." And um, so we all auditioned, we all came to LA, and then they were like, okay, um, you three, you get the job. And remind you, the rest of the people are still in the room. Mm -hmm. And we were like, yay, yay! <laughs> like we didn't know, should we cry, should mm -hmm. we be happy, should we you know, feel bad because our people, the friends that we just met, but they literally sat us in a room and said, you three got the part, uh, well, your plane will be later tonight or tomorrow morning. You know, it was like that. Like it was no, there was no feelings. I mean, it's like welcome to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, and Dan, we all ended up going to dinner that night. And Dan was like, I am so happy for you guys. I am so happy that you got this part. You three deserve it. Like I mean, it was genuinely mm -hmm. yeah, so sweet and sweetheart. so amazing. And it wasn't until PMC two that I came to, and he was there, and he was signing autographs, and I was like. Oh my God! You became a Power Ranger. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea, and I was so happy for him. And I was like running around telling Steve, and Steve was like, "You didn't know he was like, but like, yeah, he was yeah. on Power Ranger. Like, he ended up getting it, but I had no, you know, I didn't keep yeah. up because I was a little bitter. But, <laughs> but you know, I was so happy, and I mean, but he was genuinely so happy for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, down Southworth, sorry. So, gotta have Jen because okay. she she's just a she's. Really, out of all the Pink Rangers, she's my favorite because she just could kick butt, and she kicked Feisty. Wes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she kicked Wes's butt. That's I'm Aaron sorry. Cahill, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. Aaron Cahill. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm starting to learn the character. Yeah. Like, I know yeah. Aaron, but I'm and, like, and I do character? have to have you because Aisha was just, she had spunk. She brought spunk <laughs> to the show. <laughs> And she was sassy. Sassy. <laughs> um, That's my motto. And then, <laughs> keep it sassy. My sister, <laughs> I think my so sixth one. So if you see one, me like in the corner at Power Morphicon doing this, you know what? I, like I, you can be across the room and I'll be like, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think for my sixth one, I would have to go a little newer. Nice. And go Azim with Jake. I love Azim. I, love Azim too. I met Azim at um, Lexington. Lexington. Yeah. Oh, I, know. I was like, exactly. Azim, you're so cool. He is a doll. He's, He's cool. I mean, the way he did it in the Super Mega Force episode with. Um, Jason Smith, Casey, mm -hmm. he just, I like the character, and I think he would be a good addition to a team. Awesome. Yep. One of you guys, yes. who wants to jump in? 
your dream team. Well, I'll go ahead because uh, literally it's her list almost to a T. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so what are your but, what are your changes? You know, I love you, Johnny, uh, but that's <laughs> not the team. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, like, oh. She'd be like, Johnny, you're my fourth favorite. And this is <laughs> so this is strictly speaking as the character itself. Mm -hmm. uh, I would put Tommy in there because I think Absolutely. Jason and Tommy, the dynamic between both of them at the beginning that of the be show like was fireworks. great. Like yeah. their uh, their rivalry, their friendship everything that they push to each other and that whole switch that they did in Zia where one is now the leader and one is now the sixth ranger. I love that whole dynamic. Nice. So I would love to see that return to the show. Nice. So yeah. Jason, Tommy, um, Aaron, Miss Karen Ashley, our host, thank you. <laughs> and exactly, I was like, if anybody needed to. You don't have to pick me, trust me. Okay. I, I get it all the time. People, there's not a day. Like tomorrow, so there's going to be a million people go, you are my second favorite yellow. Oh, yeah. And I'm okay. Like I'll be number two to tweet any day of the week. Yeah. Any day of the week. Like I'm like, I yeah, absolutely. I'm good with that. And exactly like she said, if anybody had to be. Maybe Hector David Jr. because he's awesome too. Yay! But Azim, definitely Azim. Azim is so dope. Okay, somebody down here wanted to do it. Dream team? Mm, put you on the spot. Uh -oh. yeah, put the spot. <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't want to, who's got one? You got a dream team? You got a dream team? Okay, go with your five. We'll go with five. Just, uh, you can think about it. Uh, character names. Okay, let's go. Character names. Character names. Uh, Jason, Leo, uh, Scott from uh, yeah. RPM. Okay. okay. They're mostly all leaders. That's just, cool. They're just all in the um, Tell uh, me something about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always say whatever ranger you like, it's almost like a personality test. It tells me something about your personality. Because you go towards mm -hmm. what, cool. you know, like yeah. it kind of almost is a personality test. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, Cassie. Okay. Cassie. Uh, one more. Uh, I want to put Tommy in there, but you know, you know he's like. OP Ranger and it's like it's overpowered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OP Ranger, what's OP mean? O OP overpowered. Overpowered? Yeah. Oh so. how hilarious. He's gonna die when he sees this video. <laughs> don't don't, don't call me form. Jason because I didn't say it. <laughs> but, um, but you know what? That's that's kind of like he's I he's the king of social media. Like he has turned this into a whole nother thing. He him and Steve were the ones that brought me into doing conventions, so I owe it all to them. So thank you. Uh, Anybody else get it? Oh, you get all five or how many? Was, I need one. It's either Billy or Adam. Nice. Between one of them. So you got all the leaders and then you got a quiet type. Yeah, you, you, gotta, have, you gotta have some yeah. brains in there. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else got a dream yeah. team? Okay, go ahead. Go for it. Okay, okay. The, the, um, this is like the forbidden question. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> my favorite five, oh God. <laughs> I'd have to say Billy. Absolutely. Because he's uh, tech savvy. Uh, and I like the way you say that. Tech. Billy. <laughs> Billy. Billy. <laughs> I have to say Andrews in space, um, Melody Perkins as Carone from Lost Galaxy. Yes. Um, who else? Um, Dustin from Ninja Storm, because dude! Yeah, I was <laughs> the dude. <laughs> uh, Bridge from SPD, because he's buttery. And, um, oh, I love it. I love all this. I love it. And uh, who else? Who else? Um, what was it going to say? Kira from Dino something? Because she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> she's cute. I like choice. it. I like mm -hmm. it. Anybody else want to give it a go? Got, oh, right. Go ahead. I'm going to have you and Steve as the Ninjetti. Yellow and red Ninjetti. Oh, Ninjetti. Like nice. I do too. I would have um, Tommy as Green Ranger, um, Lucas from Time Force as the Blue Ranger, and the, ti the Titanium Ranger from Lightspeed, and probably Jen, the Pink Ranger from Time Force. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a good, well-rounded group. Yeah. That's a good, well-rounded group. So, obviously, we're going to the big convention this weekend. Is there anything you're looking forward to? Because it's always fun. Well, I mean, I was a, besides Please. Blinders, I was a VR Troopers fan. Oh, um, yes. Brad Hawkins. Is Mr. Hawkins. Brad Hawkins. Yeah. Hawkins. Yeah. Everybody, his line is going to be the longest I'm gonna be the, line. I'm going to be the first one at his booth. Nice. <laughs> nice. I brought all my VR Troopers. Swag. Oh, nice. He deserves yeah. that. I feel like he, they, he should have been doing these cons for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so I, I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see him. It's been many years. You have to choose me. I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> I'm going to be like you. I'm going to put on my Facebook. Don't look to me. Like, I, Will had a, he had a, because he works for PMC. Like, everybody's been trying to get passes from him. They've been like, Will, when does this start? When's this panel? What? Like, he's like the info center. And he finally had to put a disclaimer on <laughs> Stop. 
calling me. Like, he's the Zordon of fandom. And they finally were like, he had to like, you gotta do a video where you're Zordon. And he has, he has his profile picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he, that's what you get. I, he does have his profile picture, but he's got to do a video. And finally, he put a disclaimer. Stop asking me. Read it online. Like, it was something. And then I go, um, by the way, can you, like, what I ask you for? I was like, can you give me an autograph, autograph from ASJ? <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh, and by the way, can you give me Austin St. John's autograph? So, anyways, what are you looking forward to? I, I'm telling you, I'm ADD. Oh. I, I get on me? track. Oh, me? Anybody. Oh. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting the Japanese guests. <gasps> yes. Japanese yes. Guests. I'm looking forward yes. to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yuta, Yuta. Um, Mochizuki. Mochizuki. Hold on, say it one more time. Yuta Mochizuki-san. Mochizuki, okay. Mochizuki. I'm just going to say Yuta. Hi. 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 I oh think, yeah. Is that's because I mean I. It's been seven years. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I, I I see you guys, you know, all the time. I go to conventions all the time. Mm -hmm. I won't get to go to any of the panels except his anyway. So right. There's a few. I'm hoping they're going to be on YouTube. Like the stunts panel is going to be yeah. awesome, um, and all that. But um, just to see how the fans react to him, and then with him and pronounce his name for me. Is it Yuta? Yuta. 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 Those two together. Right. You know, that's going to be, that's going to be incredible. I get to, I get to moderate yes, that panel. Yes, you do. That's I right. got the word. I got yes. the word. I'm moderating the Yuta and ASJ panel. I know. Mm -hmm. How did I get so lucky? Well, <laughs> I think I talk so much. they like, huh, who talks so much? Look at her. <laughs> she doesn't shut up. <laughs> it's incredible because it's not only uh, Mochizuki-san and... Um, Austin, but it, it's also uh, Steve and yes. the two suit actors that play the actual yes. in suit Red Ranger. So, so, so yeah. every excited Red for Toronto that. that's ever been. That's yeah. what I love also about the fandom is that you guys don't stop with the actors. You guys go to the stunt people, to the writers, to the voiceover actors. Like everybody gets the appreciation and the love oh, that yeah. they deserve because mm -hmm. it took an army to get that show. I mean, when we were on, it was every day. So literally, it was like five days a week, 15 hour days. It was, and even people who were editing, you guys know everything about it. How is that possible? Like how, I, I, I don't know everything about anything. Like I feel like I'm just like, I feel like I'm so underachieved in my life. Like seriously, I should appreciate something that much. Have you ever worked with Koichi? Yes. Sakamoto? Yes, I've worked with him several times. He's my hero. Yeah, Koichi Sakamoto is an amazing person. He's the person. unsung hero. He's the reason why I still watched Power Rangers. Well, his fights yeah. are amazing. And, and yes. I will tell you this, coming from a person who was not a fighter, as you know, I was a dancer, it was so easy to get on set and do a fight. Because back in my day, we did the civilian fights where we were fighting as ourselves. And they were super popular. And kids were like, that's what kids wanted to see was us fighting. Mm -hmm. And they loved it when we were in the costume, but they really loved it when we weren't. So it was like, to go on set and go, oh God, I gotta fight. And these people are professionals and I don't know anything about this. I mean, he literally, the way he sets up the camera and you're like, kick, kick, punch. And then he turns it around. He's like, okay, jump. And when you see it, like I'm flying through the air. Like, I'm like, I look so cool, much cooler than I've ever looked in my whole life. Like he's amazing. He turned me into a superhero. So I love, I love Koichi. I it, it makes it more believable that you guys are in the suits when we see that. Because a lot of the time, when I see the helmet, mm -hmm. like I see like Austin, when I see the Toronto Ranger helmet, mm -hmm. I see Austin, and, and you know when I see certain helmets, I see those yeah. those actors. Mm -hmm. But you know there are certain seasons where they didn't do too much uh, of the fighting, or they didn't use the you know have the suit on with the helmet off. Right. And a lot of the time, it's just like it's like the Rangers and the actor are two different people. Yeah, it's right. Disjointed. It's very, yeah. You know yeah. why though? Because they were so like you know Brad actually got hurt on VR Troopers, and they mm -hmm. said they cut us back from the schedule because they were so afraid one of us would get hurt. And mm -hmm. then we were getting loads of letters that our show was too violent. So then they, the network finally said, let's not see them fight. Like, they always mm -hmm. got to fight a monster. They've always got to be in costume. We need it to be a little more disjointed so that they kids don't emulate these kids. Like, they kind of can tell it's 
So, and I felt that took away. Like, it I was did. like, oh, no, why? Did. Well, you don't, they don't identify with the character like they did when you don't see the face. Or yeah. they have to use stunt doubles all the time. Yeah. So they have to pull back. Yeah. So you don't mm -hmm. see them up close like back in the day when yeah. you guys were doing it all. Mm -hmm. You know, then the kids would be like, We oh, would be you know, there. I mean, is that's her. the thing. That like, when him. we shot the movie, there were times we were on set doing mm -hmm. the moves. And same thing, we were, you know, we were kind of a part of it all. Mm -hmm. And they would, you know, there would be a time the stunt double was doing all this stuff and then they would go, stop, get Karen, and I'm in there and I had to do a move and then I'd have, you'd have to see my face, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. So, and that, I think you've guys seen where they were going to have the visors, yes, where they I'll were going to be on and that. off. Uh -huh. They were going to do that, but then the time got away and the, the effect wasn't good and it just kind of never came together. It was a little freaky. I'm yeah, not <laughs> but they wanted it to where it would have, like, we would have been fighting and then all of a sudden, and then you could have seen mm -hmm. us, and then it would have went back. It would have been cool if oh, they yeah. would have, but they, they touched it just, on it. yeah. They touched on it on a Ninja Storm, I think they did something yeah. similar where they could yeah. actually see the spaces. Well. Yeah. Light speed as well, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. so, but anyways, I, 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 there's no other way to end the show, but for all of us to look into the camera mm -hmm. and say those famous words, <laughs> I want you to say it, not me. Because you're the reason, you're part, I mean, there's obviously hundreds and thousands. If I could have had this whole room filled with people, I would have. But, you know, obviously I, I couldn't get everybody here. But I was able to have the pleasure of having all of you here. And on behalf of all the Rangers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look into that camera. I'm three. You know what to say. One, two, three. It's Mormon time!